there's no more apt a place that, that, than Gates said as well to do this. It was once the, the poor relation to, to, to this area. You know, I think before I came to work up here, we had a shop in Newcastle, and you, you thought of Gateshead as being the wrong side, wrong side of the tracks, wrong side of the river. Really, it was like you, you've heard of Brendan. You would have heard of Brendan Foster and the Gateshead Stadium, but apart from that, it had nothing. Just look at it now. Just look what creativity and design has done. It's an international brand. It's becoming an international brand. Newcastle had to had to allow it to be called Newcastle Gateshead. They'd have been foolish not to, because they haven't done a lot. Um, you know, and and. And it's, it's, it's been by creative thinking, by design-led thinking, by bravery. Design is about bravery. Look at that. People hated it. People thought, if you do, I bet if you go back and look at the records, if there was any public consultation done on this, I bet it was all people saying it was bloody awful. Um, and, and, you know, and, and look what it's ended up. This, this is the Creative South Bank, and this, this being located here, it's, it's, just, it, it's got to be more than just a building where you lot get together. It, um, make sure that... That this, that this place ensures that this never becomes um, part of Clone Town Britain. It is a bit at the moment, but, it, but make sure it goes further away from Design Town Britain, Clone Town Britain. Make sure that it, that it never gets mentioned again, Gates said, in, crack ta in the Crack Towns Britain book. You know, design can, c design can do all of those things. Uh, it's, this, sh this should be a... Re this, the, des it, the design... Centre North should be a repository for ideas like the Totnes Pound. I haven't got time because I started um, like 14 minutes late, so I'm going to have to really crack on. But look, at, look up the Totnes Pound um, and uh, and see the kind of thinking that, that you know creative can think. And the Lewis Pound, L E W E S Pound. Um, it, it also should be a place that, that embraces the micro scale and the macro scale as well as the medium. What's the micro macro? What's, what's medium? Is there a word like micro macro or medium? No, there probably isn't, is there? No. Need to invent one, don't we? Um, and Amsterdam uh, is an example of, of how it, it, it embraces creative thinking at the moment. It started to become known as a it got a second brand, apart from being the Venice of the North and this amazing, beautiful, uh, just lovely city to walk around, it became known as a place where, sadly, English and Irish groups of lads would go there to get pissed, smoke dope, and shag prostitutes. You know, and, and yes, it became, yes it, that, that became its kind of secondary brand. Very shame. And the sad thing is, it's British and, and Irish lads that, that lead there. When you go there, you see it's all... It's all us, well, not me, but it's our, it's, it's our brethren who, who do it, which is, you know, another sign that we have to change a little bit. Uh, but what the, the, the intelligent people of, uh, the intelligent leaders of Amsterdam did, said, well, this is no good in the long term for us. It might bring in some balance of payments, but it ain't the right way to do it. Uh, and what they started to do over a six-year period is buy up all these knocking shops. Everyone that came up, they'd buy it, compulsory purchase it, buy it, leave it empty. About a year and a half ago, they launched a, a system, and they've got 35 of them now, where these ex-knocking shops are now free homes for creative businesses. Uh, they could be artists, designers, young architects, and they're free. Uh, but we're actually doing that idea, and it only brings back to when, that's me when I was 19 on Camden Market, and it only, when, where we had easy in, easy out. You're only ever going to get great design-led places if there are places where people can have a go and can have a go and fail. We all, we all, most designers fail in the, in the early part of their careers and that's no problem. You know, we're, we're quite resilient and we, and we get up and we have another go. But we've got to give people the chance to fail and not cost them and not have to borrow or, or, or have rich parents before they fail. And, and we can do that here because you need to look at a project that we're doing called Starter for Ten uh, on, on the, um, uh, my next meeting after this is over at the council about Starter for Ten on the High Street, which is a, uh, basically doing exactly what they've done in Amsterdam. We're doing it here in Gateshead, and that needs to become part of, of here. The, that, you know, that needs to, the whole thing needs to be run from here because that's part of design. You know, some, some young designers, when I was uh, 19, I would not have come into a corporate building like this. Um, it would have been just too sooty. I wear a suit now, but I'm 48. But when I was 19, I wouldn't have wanted it. I'd have wanted to be in that gritty thing there. And somehow you've got to have your tentacles out there, but allow that to happen, but still, you know, not just serve the P&Gs, 
you know, uh, and the Berg houses, uh, but served the person who's 18 uh, and hate, dropped out of college but has got an idea. And they've somehow got to, got to get in here because they, you know, they are the PNGs and the Berg houses of, of the future. I'm not talking about that, you've talked about that. Um, watch out for kiosk kiosk. This is something that we're, uh, is going right outside Boris Johnson's office on the, uh, uh, on, in more London, on the South Bank, between the GLA, that curvy glass building, and uh, Tower Bridge. Uh, and it's a, the first of a series of creative kiosks. We've designed this, it was our idea, for, for young, young designers to, 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 to have a go in public places. And it's part of a, the, the summer exhibition at the Design Museum called Super Contemporary. I haven't got time to talk about that. I won't talk about that. It should also, just finally, I'm catching up some time, uh, finally, I think it's almost finally, um, this, this should be a place as well where planners feel free to wander in uh, and where they can be re <laughs> uh, and where they can be energised about design. Uh, and, and, you know, it's got to be a, and, and it's got to be a place where, I'm not going to talk about that, it's got to be a place where the public can be energet, en, energet, energised about design. Most importantly, it's got to be a place where the members who make, the council members who make decisions have got to be part of, of your setup. If they're not, every time people in here take an idea to them, they'll say, not in my backyard, health and safety. And, oh, we can't have that in our community. <laughs> that's, sorry, that's a Lancashire accent, but I can't do the North East one. Um, I'll practice for next time. Uh, I'm not going to talk about that. Um, it should also be a hub for creative networks. Um, there's all sorts of creative networks um, springing up around the country. The one that I'm a member of, the South Coast Design Forum now, we're, we're actually becoming a, sta it's a group of designers and creative people, um, hundreds strong now, who are actually going to, just about to become statutory consultants to all major council decisions. Because we, the, the, biggest, the biggest problem, I think, one of the biggest ones we've got in this country, as opposed to other countries, is the average age of our uh, council members who make the decisions in our lives is around between 57 and 58 in this country. How the, I'm 48, I cannot hope to understand what my youngest, who's 11, wants out of his life. Uh, and I, I'm quite with it. Um, how can, I, I, I think it's great that when you get to retirement age, you, you, some people bec become public servants and they give up their time to become council members, you know, but somehow we have to get people at the younger side of things, but, but the difficulty is you're bringing up a family, you've got a mortgage to pay, you've got a business to run, you've got a job to hold down. Uh, so let's get, I think you should have a, my call to arms is that this becomes a receptacle for a group of creative minds who haven't got, who can't give up the hours that, that a 60 year old could give up to become, to be playing a major part in their community, but as a group can influence what goes on in this conurbation. Because um, the job of design, in fact the job of everybody in this room is to ensure that the Americans cannot, cannot put on the front of their, cannot rightly put on the front of their magazine, unhappy, unloved and out of control, an epidemic of violence, crime and drunkenness has made Britain scared of its young, what's causing the crisis? Well, what we're talking about in this room, we can all impact on that crisis. We can impact on the fact of us coming bottom of the UNICEF study of child well-being. We can impact on the fact that 18% of the British po prison population is under 18, which is twice the highest of any other developed country in the world. Um, but finally, my final slide definitely, is there's loads of proof out there that design works financially. Thanks for listening.